<clears throat> Hello and welcome to Talking Tottenham but this video is about England <clears throat> That's what it's all about today Come on boys <sighs> Today is the 11th of June, uh, July 2021 And then the European Championships final it is Italy One of the best teams at the competition against another team that sort of grew, grew as they went in tournament, which is England, yeah? England. <laughs> oh, it's, it's, oh, it's nice to say that we're in the final, which is great, it's fantastic, but it's not, it's nothing, we ain't won nothing yet. We ain't won nothing yet. <laughs> we Yes, it's been 55 years of fucking hurt and stuff like that. Apparently, it's been coming home since 96. It just hasn't arrived. It's got lost in the post or something. <laughs> but when this tournament started, I was like, England ain't got a chance. <laughs> uh, honestly, I was just like, no, no, we ain't playing that well. But, um,. Thankfully, no were France, no were Holland, Be Belgium, not really. Um, <laughs> Portugal not, didn't really turn up properly. England has slowly blossomed, and this, even though they had this, <sighs> there's like a control to our game, which is different. I haven't seen it before. A very controlled way, like even if we're losing, which hasn't been often, but against Denmark. There's control, there's composure, even in the games, and it's from the midfield, defence, everywhere. It's all good. It's quite nice. It's different <laughs> for England, anyway. Um, <clears throat> we, England, for some of us as fans, especially the players, the manager, this ain't going to happen again to you. This is your last thing of... Having a European Championships at your country, in your country, yeah. Not just, okay, it's been hosted in a couple of different countries, but what I'm saying is the semi-finals, some of the group games, the final is at Wembley, which is England. Do you know what I mean? This don't happen often. It ain't going to happen that often, again, in, in my lifetime. It won't happen that, you know. And if it, even if it does happen again, when I'm like 60 or something... Who's to say we're going to get to the final again? This does not happen all the time. This is literally one of those life, once in a lifetime opportunities that are great to see and witness. Um, <laughs> there, there, there's been a buzz building, in, for me anyway, because like I said at the beginning I was like, England ain't doing it. So even when we got to the first knockout round, I was like, <laughs> got Germany, I was like, we're going, we're, we're going home. <laughs> It's not coming home, we're getting home. And then we got Ukraine. And when we beat them, was like, do you know what? <laughs> it started building a lot more. Even when we beat Germany, it did a bit, but Ukraine was like, okay. And Denmark was like, that could be our test because they actually got this team spirit going on because of what happened to Ericsson and what have you. And they've got some many, many leaders on the pitch. They really have. <clears throat> but we did, we beat them. And now we're in the final. Part of me feels quite lucky. It's been a bit lucky. You can only beat what's in front of you. I know that. We can only beat what's in front of you. But we've been quite lucky with the draw. Maybe if we'd been tested with Portugal or Belgium, Italy, France, maybe it would have been different. But so what? We're here now. <laughs> we're in the final. Um, yeah, it's... it's 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 so it's different. It's new. It's because this hasn't happened in our lifetime. It's amazing. But now, being a Spurs fan, <laughs> I know it's like to get pumped up for final and fuck it up. I'm just <laughs> open and praying that just England keep going the way they've been going and just progress a bit more today and really show up. Because 
there's no point being defensive too much. I mean, sitting back trying to wait or nothing. Just go for it. It's a one-off game. It's a final. Go for it with everything you've got. I don't care how we win. I don't care if it's a bit dirty. I don't care if it's an own goal by them. I don't care if it's in the 90 minutes 1-0. I don't care if it's in the extra time. I don't care if it's on penalties. I just want the fucking win. Win. Win at all costs. Fucking win. <sighs> It'll be party time in this country. <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah, it'd be great. It'd be <laughs> insane. And these players will ha and the manager will have hero status. It'd be in history. Um. And even though, yeah, we've had a quite a good run to the final. Okay, Germany was a bit difficult, don't get me wrong, even though we beat them 2-0. But beating Italy, to me, they're the best team in this tournament. If you beat them in the final, it's all good. We beat them in the final, we beat the best team, so it doesn't matter. Um, <clears throat> if I'm Southgate... I'm not, I know, but if I'm sat, or even if I actually, I actually want to talk to him and the players and just be like, look, this is once in a lifetime for you lot and for the fans. It's been a long, long time. Our generation, we haven't witnessed it before. We might in the future, but we don't know. Like, nothing's promised for the future, but right here, right now is what matters. You go out there, you give every fucking think. Don't be stupid, but be, you know, like Mourinho said, be clever cunts if you've got to be a bit dodgy and dirty. I don't care. Do it. You play with the team spirit you've been having. You have played that control that you've been playing with. Of getting, it's been so calm. It's been very. It's been nice for us to be like, oh, we have a bit of control. We have a bit of calmness. <clears throat> but we do need to be a bit more energetic and lively. Don't get me wrong. And we have been recently. <clears throat> Ukraine, we turn up. Um, just give it your all. This is for fucking. This is for every. This this country will be. It's, so needed. Do you know what I mean? It's just, it's going to give everyone a big lift. And it's needed after the fucking 18 whatever months it's been. Um, we have to just, just go for it, please. Just fuck, do it for your queen, if you want to do it, if you want to say that. Do it for your queen. Do it for the fans, though. Do it for, the, do it for yourselves. Do it for each other, all the players in that squad, the subs, whatever. The manager, the assistants, the coaches, every the physio, every fucking one. Do it for them. Do it for the country. Everyone that's all the other sports that are watching. Do it for us. We need this. We deserve this. Just go and win. Do you want to win? They'll be like, do you want to win? Yeah. Do you want to go home and be a hero? Do you want to go home and say like I've won a European Championships in my lifetime? Do you want to tell your kids this, your family this story? Yes, you do. You want to tell your friends this story? Yes, you do. Do you want to be a yard to walk around and tell other people? Yeah, I thought, yeah, I did that. We'll go out there and fucking win. Don't lose. Nothing like that. Just fucking win. <laughs> this is your time. This is your fucking time, boys. Don't fuck it up. Go do it. Get business done. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Let's get it done. Finish. Don't muck around. Do the job. Finish the job and bring football home because <laughs> that's what the fuck is about as well. <sighs> Just win. <laughs> Just fucking win, boys. <laughs> the buzz is building. I hate that it's eight o'clock as well. I can't wait all fucking day. It's winding me up. But <clears throat> this is how it's been. Um, Sundays, I don't get all this Sunday final because Mondays are going to be a write-off for many, many people. And there's no point getting all the excuses and oh, 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 I've got a headache, oh, I've got a foot ache. It's just, just England won, I went on the piss, I got a bit excited. It happens once in a lifetime, chill the fuck out, don't have a go at me. Um... <clears throat> sort of half don't want to go crazy tonight. I don't want to go mad if we win. Because I've got stuff to do tomorrow. I actually have. Not work, but I have things to do tomorrow. And I don't know it's going to be horrible if I get absolutely wrecked. And then... I ain't going to feel good till about four o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> but it's too late now. Day's over. <sighs> um... 
Anyway, let's just have a sing song. Let's enjoy it if we can. I know loads of, loads of us are just going to be focused on the game, like watching watching everything. But I want to have us try and have a sing song join the game. Unless we can down the pub with my mates. <laughs> it's all good. Great atmosphere. Um, <laughs> yeah. Just, I want to enjoy the game as well. I don't want to sit there on tender hooks or 1 0, 2 0, 3 0 today. I'm like, fuck, fuck, shit, and fuck. Just, that's not good. I want to see, <clears throat> I want to see us turn up, perform. That's, that's one. Well, actually, I want to see us win. Number one, not performance. If we, I said, if we get a scrappy 1 0 win and it's an own goal or something, I don't give a fuck. As long as we win. But then two, I, want to see, I actually want to see us turn up though. That'd be the best way to do it. Turn up, play our game, play some nice, decent bits of play and that. Score a couple of goals, <laughs> and then let's go fucking mental. <laughs> oh shit! It's gonna be good. It should be good. It will be good. It will be good. We're gonna win. Manifest that shit. So we're gonna win, picture it, see it, feel it, and then witness it. <laughs> Urgh, come on, man, fuck. <sighs> I, I literally, I don't even know what to do with myself today. <laughs> I don't know whether to go, I don't know whether to play FIFA and just get excited all day. Go out earlier and get a little bit sloshed, but then I sort of might not remember the game as much. It depends how drunk I get. I don't know. I'm trying not to. And then I'm thinking, well, maybe I should go out as late as possible. But get there in good time. And then just take my time with the drinking. So I enjoy it, watch the whole game, and then celebrate and sing if I... So I remember it all. <laughs> I just don't, I don't know. It's the clammy hands, <laughs> sticky hands, and clammy hands, and sweaty, sweaty paws. Oh man! <laughs> I just, want, I just want us to, yeah. I'm not gonna say the same thing over and over again. Just perform and win, please. <laughs> the whole country's gonna be locked in at eight o'clock, even seven, probably, you know, six, seven o'clock, but. Eight o'clock. <laughs> there will be uh, if we win at ten o'clock at night. If we win, or even extra time penalties after ten eleven. There's gonna be fucking noise out in the streets. They don't expect to be sleeping if you're a normal person who don't care about football, or you just love rugby and that, or saying like, that. Don't expect to be sleeping, or you don't have a gut. People just shouting about in the street, having a sing song. Let them have their moment. It's been a shit year. We need to be happy and celebrate if we win. So, let's have our moment. Don't go crazy at us. We fucking deserve it. <clears throat> uh, yeah. Oh yeah, by the way, I forgot to mention, congratulations to Lo Celso for getting to the, no, winning, sorry, for getting to the final. They won. So well done to Argentina. Messi's first. I didn't. I forgot all about him. Like in the sense of him winning major trophies for his country. That was his first one. Fair play. <clears throat> He's done it though. Um. See, so yeah, good luck. Well done to Lo Celso. <sighs> yeah, let's hope Kane can do the same now. <laughs> Come on, Kane. Don't fuck about. Just give Kane his opportunities. He he will take them. It's that's he's quite simple, honestly. He might miss one, but then he would. You don't phase him. He will do it again. He'll give him another chance. He'll score. Give Kane his chances. And Sterling's on form. <clears throat> on on fire. Boy from Brent doing his thing. Um. The whole squad's. Just, it's been very impressive, actually. From. I said, in the group stages, I was watching it, but I was, had no real excitement. We should have progressed. We did. 
but I was impressed by what we were in, from the, like I said, the control of games is maybe it's helped to that we're having two actual defensive midfielders having that control of a game and Deccan and Rice has been amazing Phillips has been amazing they're really just they're doing it <laughs> um, obviously the, <coughs> the front the forward players they're starting to do their thing as well now obviously Kane, Sterling Mount's turning up a little bit uh, Grealish to come on done a couple of bits and bobs of course I've been surprised that Sancho has been getting more minutes. I really, someone who's so good at dribbling, I don't understand that. I can't complain. Southgate's got us to the final, so okay, <laughs> you accept it. You can't moan. Um, Al has been coming on doing bits and bobs as well, of course. <clears throat> but yeah, this is it's Luke Luke Shaw. Has been the biggest shock, honest to, honest to God. When he first started the first, when he first started the first game, I was like, "Why the fuck is he playing? Why ain't Chilwell playing?" I know he had a bit of form, and a little bit, to me, for Man United last season. I get, it. but I was, I was like, "Still, Chilwell's going to play." Seems like he's got a better engine, and he's got a decent cross on him as well. And sometimes he likes a shot when he gets forward. Sometimes and stuff like that. So I thought he'd be more dangerous, and he's quite good at defending. Uh, I've been, honestly, Shaw has shocked the shit out of me. I was like, wow. And I have to hold my hand. I, don't rate, I didn't rate him. I was even in the first few games. I was like, fuck him. I think he should be playing. Should we cheer well? <laughs> He's made me eat my words. He's been absolutely amazing. He's been immense. I don't know people calling him Roberto Carlos and Wagger. That guy had real, a real whip on him. Outside the boot and inside the foot, so yeah, Shaw's got no right crossing him. Don't get me wrong, but Chill could do the same with that. Thank, just, just saying. But Shaw has been amazing. His crosses, like, like I said, on the floor one to against against Germany. <clears throat> the ball into the box for Sterling's goal was very. It's tasty. It's, it's harder than you think. It just, yeah, it's decent. Um. Yeah, nothing but praise for sure, really now, because yeah, he's just he's been sh he's been performing, he's been showing up. Walker, <clears throat> Walker, last game was absolutely amazing as well. England, <laughs> I don't know if you heard that. Someone's just holding. <laughs> then home. England, um. Uh. Yeah, Walker. Last game, it shows you why he should be in the squad for his power and pace. <clears throat> if he's, someone's got a yard on him, he will catch him up. Unless it's Kylian Mbappe, but we ain't got to play him, so fuck him. Um, <laughs> it, Walker is decent. He's just, he can play right centre back sometimes. He can. He can play obviously right back on right winger. Sometimes when he gets to the ball, there's nothing against that. He's been amazing in this tournament as well. But sometimes when he goes forward and he's up there in right wing area, I'm like, whip the ball in. And he seems like he's quite scared sometimes to whip the fucking ball in. He used to have a decent cross at time. Well, not always. But I'm saying not a bad one. He seems like he's a bit scared to do it. Um... Anyway, but yeah, he's, he's had a good tournament, tournament as well. And then I was, of course, I want to talk about Maguire has really, really turned up. I didn't, I, I wasn't rating that we put him in the squad because he had the injury near the end of the season. But, oh shit, what's he going to do? What's he going? How's he going to come back? He played a cut. Okay, Mings played the first game. Understandable. Oh, I can't remember about the second game. Shit. Mm. Yeah, Scotland. I can't remember. But since he's come in. He actually has been performing. Fair play to him. And of course Stones next to him, he's been sort of like the unheard of like D 
decent player. He's just been quiet, but he's doing his job. You ain't got to be shouting about him doing it. He's doing his job. And Pickford's been quite decent. I did say in one of the videos that he, I'm sort of waiting for him to have a little wobble. And he did it last game. He had a cut look. He, something went wrong. Then for five, ten minutes, he was like, whatever he did, he was like a bit dodgy. He was like, for fuck's sake. Don't give the ball. Get the ball up the other end of the field. Stay up there for a little while. And keep, get your fucking mind right, Pickford. Jesus Christ. He uh, Then he threw it out to a Denmark player, I think it was. I was like, Jesus. He just he just had a bad wobble. I was like, please don't fuck up. Don't send us home. <laughs> Thankfully, we got through anyway. But yeah, other than that though, he has had a good tournament. Solid performances for, throughout. Though, so, yeah, fair play to him as well. But this is the game. I don't want players to freeze. I don't want to get the 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 don't want the moment to get to them like and freeze and just don't know what to do. Play your game. Be comfortable. You're at home as well. You're gonna just come out of that stadium, absolute fucking champions. The, the, the feeling, the singing in the stadium will be outside the stadium. Play your game. Be calm, but be fucking have some passion in you though. Don't be a dead cunt. Have some passion. That's what it's about. Don't be stupid though with your passion. Be clever with it. Don't be getting their cards and shit like that. Just control it nicely. <sighs> Just fucking win tonight, please. I saw. <laughs> Come on. I ain't got time for this losing bollocks anymore. Tottenham. I've had enough of it with Tottenham, please. That's enough. I'll be tapping out otherwise. This has actually been the first thing that's got me off of Tottenham for a little while. Even though Tottenham still wound me up because we only just literally appointed Nuno about a month ago. Uh, <laughs> month ago. Yeah, right. It's about a week ago. Um, oh, two, oh, yeah, a week. week and, or two weeks ago. I can't even remember now. But yeah, but... Tottenham just been winding up all summer, even throughout the beginning of this tournament. So now it's on us, it's on you lot, man, to do your thing. Just win today, please. I beg you, man, just win. <sighs> just win. It's just there's nothing else to say. You have one job today, win at all costs. Just fucking win. There's nothing else to say. Win, win, fucking win. Win, win, fucking win, yeah? Just put it in your mind all day, fucking say it. Win, win, fucking win, 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 fucking win. <sighs> anyway. This video is longer than I thought. <laughs> Come on, England. Don't fuck about. Get the job done. Win. And we'll, we'll all have a good fucking night and we can remember this day for fucking ever. Come on. The 11th of July, 2021, could be a fucking good day. And it's just, oh weird, yeah, it's a bit ironic how, yes, it's 2020 Euros, but it's not even the same year because of the COVID. And England, we're not even in fucking Europe no more. <laughs> Apparently. So, I'm going to win that tournament. Imagine that. We win it and it gets taken away from us. Fuck that. <laughs> Anyway, just come on, boys, do your thing. <laughs> Don't let us down. Just fucking win. Win, win, fucking win. <laughs>